when it has been years since anyone's heard anything but static and white noise on the radio. Who could still believe we are not alone on this earth? My wife, my comrades from the Order, my friends, people from my station. Nobody believes me. They are sure that there's nothing on the radio. Sure that save for us who hid in Moscow Metro, there were no survivors of the last war. We are alone on this planet, and in the Metro it's common knowledge. But I did hear that call on the radio with my own ears. Yes, it was immediately drawn out by the static, but I had heard it. Which means that somewhere out there, under the skies, there's still a habitable place. We're not doomed to live the rest of our lives underground. Still, nobody believes me. find the clean place outside? How long do you think that's going to last? How many kids are there in the station? In the whole metro? Who will be left here in ten years? Artyom, stop putting delusions into his head. I don't want him going crazy like you. I can't even sleep since you told him all those silly stories. Is that supposed to make him better? Please, leave my son alone. That's exactly why they go up there. They know we can't solve anything by hiding in our holes. <laughs> the stores are running out. There's fewer of us and more of the mutants. And those keep getting larger, stronger, and smarter by the day. Sooner or later, they will crush us. Sure, there was a to go. But maybe something up there could help I left the order. And now nobody gets to decide for me. Oh, I can't believe my eyes. Artyom. You're all right. You gave Ooh, us a scare, brother. Artyom! How are you, friend? I see Party you're all me, right. gentlemen, give this way! This calls for a celebration. Artyom. A few more scars and you will be completely irresistible to any woman. Speaking of which... Alyosha, how are you're the nurses right, yourself, guys, huh? you just stop crowding him? <sighs> brother. Welcome back, Artyom. Uh, uh, Privyat, Artyom. All right, you're all dismissed. I give you two hours, people. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. it's official. Yeah. I knew it. Well, you guys yeah. are like so kids. I brought something. And here we go again. <laughs> Please, let's not repeat the last time. Hold on, Artyom. fantasies in a silent world. Silent, Artyom? Because it's dead. We took our time. Time to replace our filters. Move it. We don't need any extra radiation, darling. Father will kill me if he finds out I went up with you. 
twice if he learns we've been to a Hansa off-limit zone. Have you been to all these ruins? <sighs> See all the destruction. And Moscow had the best anti-air defenses in the country. If this is how it looks now, imagine how the rest of the world looks. There's just no way anything can live up here. Look, maybe you should come back to the Order. We'll move to Polis. Dad says he'll arrange a flat for us. Because if not us, then who? A flat with a kitchen and a shower. Let's go in turns here. It's not stable enough. Careful. At least it held. Well, I'd say we're out of the woods. Whoa, hear that? each other as much as they hate us. I really don't get why this zone is off limits to stalkers. The radiation and beasts are nothing special. Stop. The pack is here. So, do we turn this place into Thermopylae, or do we let them pass? Wait it out. Looks like that is all of them. I'm glad they didn't notice us. That was a large pack. Oh, is this why the zone is off limits? I mean, if all the packs here are like that. Just imagining things. 
You should have checked first, assholes. Artyom, thank God. These people, they're Hansa, not the Order. Assholes. They did a number on you. Well, Dad will rip them a new one for that. What's going on in this Moscow of yours, anyways? Of yours? You're putting this like you're not from here. We aren't. Our village is about 200 kilometers from here. What village? You're not from Moscow? Just a regular village. We came here to find the boy's father. Left for Moscow about a year ago and never came back. But then we got caught by this here. You mean there's life outside? Why wouldn't there be any? Sure, there are lots of bad places and lots of beasts around, but we still get by. Artyom, you were right. People really do live out there. We didn't know. We thought we were the only survivors. God! We'll tell the whole Metro about this! The heck and the boy out! Hey, you people drove us halfway to nowhere. They can handle it! At least give them their masks back!
watchman broke through. Uh, the workers are done for. Keep your weapon trained on the opening. If anything comes through, we shoot. Attention! The turntable is switching on! shit again, okay? for interrogation. I can't take you to the main entrance. Too many guards. But we may sneak in from the back. Let's go. Don't rush, though. If they notice you, we're both done for. Wait. You'd better not walk into the light. Let's do it this way. You sneak to the lighting panel and disable it while I distract them. that ladder? Try sneaking to it now. Stay close to the wall. Yermak, is that you? What are you mumbling? Come here and help me fix this. Yes, sir. Got me already. Come on, come on. Fixing this should be nothing for you. Get to 
through that door. Try distracting him. Look, there's some garbage around. Throw some. Great. Now throw it. I hope the noise distracts him. Strike the guard. Well done. Let's go. Come. Hey. Go through. Come on. Hey. Good luck to you. This system supplies air for the command center. It's not that large, actually. Wait for a moment. I will, of course, do it again, but I, I'm not much of a fighter as you can guess. They just left it sitting there. We must get out before they recover. Get ready. Guards! You have to go sneak through the courtyard. Take the door the guards are coming through. Here, quick! Let's go! Who are you? Andrei Ivanovich Yermak, the train engineer. Run now! Just get to that hangar and then go to it. I'll get you out of here. They know me. So I'll get there easily. Why are you helping us, Andrei Ivanovich? I had... Uh, uh, I guess I'll tell you later. I hope... Uh, be careful. Artyom, I see the enemy. Give me a boost. Can't really see well with the snowstorm. Don't forget your visibility gauge, Atyom. If you don't move too fast and don't come out into the light, you'll be harder for them to notice. Don't turn your flashlight on either, they could notice. Atyom, incoming, two of them. I'll give you some cover from above. Taking luck! 
The command center came under enemy attack. Artyom, the hangar is right there. We can break through. Change of position, Artyom. All the military forces are to be fired upon immediately. Great job, Artyom. Civilian personnel movement is prohibited until further notice. Attention. You can take the mask off, Artyom. The coming system is coming back online. Now we have to find Yermak. Report your status. Group B, continue patrolling the courtyard in the generator room. Group A, check the wind turbine zone. Communications were lost there.
Redeploy to the generator room. Ha, <laughs> you can sneak ahead. No need to play heroes for a change. Let's wait till they walk off. Am I glad to see you here? Are you all right? I'm fine, thank you. All right. We don't have much time. They'll be back. I'll go to the engine. It should be ready now. You go up there Come and switch on, the turntable mechanism on. And please, be careful. We could easily have the whole base on us.
together. Just a little. just made a huge mess, and I can't go back to Moscow now. The wartime legislation dictates they'd be killed. In any case, I have to get them out of town until it all blows over. But you all should stay. Hear me, Major? My people are in no way related to not my this call, and you're not misunderstanding. Well, I'll channel. fight for the guys no matter what. Of course, Artyom, Anna, they are the with us. The no one behind. All right, Spartans, throw these overboard and full steam ahead! Come with me, Artyom. Let's catch them there. I'm so glad the boys supported us. It looks like my father didn't say a word to them about this either. We spent 20 years in Metro, thinking the rest of the world was burnt to a crisp in the war. But they just circled Moscow with those jammers, and we were none the wiser. How perfect of them! Finally, 
with some good sense. Now, keep breaking to a stop. Well, the grenades will barely scratch their pain, so... How about from the inside? Not enough explosives. Unless we put everything we have in their firebox. Please, let me do it. Colonel, sir! I will be appointing the volunteers here. Our team will do it. Why are you? Because he started it all, and he better do something about it. Artyom, leap over as soon as we slow down. I will distract him in the meantime. Plastic explosion. Is that you, Yakov? Yes, so cut the shit, Miller. There's nowhere to go. You've never been out here. We have. We weren't going to go far into total town for it until the excitement quiets down. And you just go up and fire. Will you let us go if we stop? I have to detain you and bring you back to face trial. You do understand the charges you're facing, right? Desertion. Treason. Are you fucking kidding me? Me? A traitor? You tell me, where are you taking that train, huh? On a simple joyride? No. I see only one after you've been fought and you're running back to your masses. So the verdict has already been passed. We won't even see a trial. Cut that shit out. What are you carrying, man? Defense plans? You want to buy yourself a seaside retirement with a life, you damn cripple? Glad. Treason! We have served you people without question for years! We have spilled our blood for the cause! You sold out! They destroyed us and you! I have been a soldier my whole life! I have dedicated my life to my people, my country! I'll be damned if I give it to parasites like you!
not just traitors. We are honest to God enemy saboteurs. We stopped a hundred clicks from Moscow to check our Geiger counters. The thing is, they are all in the green, as if they're in a conspiracy. Still, this amazing piece of news doesn't really impress anyone that much. The guys are all confused as to what to do next. And I... I'm just waiting for answers. And hoping the commander, whom until recently I trusted implicitly, is going to be extremely persuasive in his reasoning. trying to kill us. Why would they shoot at you, the Order's commander? Explain something, at least! You owe us that! Well, I might as well drop the bomb now. The war did not end. What do you mean, uh, did not end? Let me finish. Most of our cities are destroyed. The rest of the country is probably under enemy occupation. To avoid new nuclear attacks against us, command chose the only viable course of action. To play dead. To ensure radio silence, the shield system was created. A network of radio jammers covering Moscow and suburbs. So that some radio enthusiasts wouldn't bring more bombs down on our heads by whining on air. And it's one of these jammers that got disabled by the hands of those present here. Could you not have shared that before? Say, before Artyom took that radio outside and caught all that radiation? No! I only got briefed half a year ago. Under a strict, you talk, you die policy. And then had to tell my people we were securing a weather station. Sir, with all due respect, if we can't go back, maybe we should advance and move on? I have an idea, but... Uh... Artyom, rather than carrying on with this silent disapproval of yours, check the airwaves. We should be out of the jamming range by now, so give it your best try. Look for transmissions from the Ark. <sighs> Do you understand now why we are traitors in the eyes of command? We shut down a jamming station, shot up the guards, destroyed a patrol train, and ran away from Moscow. Who even needs a trial when the case is so clear? There's no way back now. Which means we have to continue moving forward. Command, what are you talking about? The Moscow Defense Command. Have you ever heard of the Invisible Watchers? I have, but they're just an urban legend. Not at all. They are command. Are you sure they care for more than just protecting their asses? You mentioned the Ark. What's that all about? If our team finds their signal, you'll figure everything out. Otherwise, there is nothing to talk about. Do you think finding that Ark of yours is going to fix everything? I do not. Wait a moment, what was that? One, eight, one, one, dash, seven, nine. Listen, everyone! Dash. Five, I repeat, proceed to the rally point. Rally point location is code one eight one right. one dash seven nine. Where was that Area number one supposed to be? Eight dash five. Got it. Only by standing together so shall we overcome any and all obstacles. Here. The Yamantau Mountain. So the route from here should go uh, like this. This is our goal. So, is this what you had in mind? Yes! This is it! The Ark Project is a whole city underground. Enormous stores, machines, the best experts. 
It is the Commander General's HQ. All of the country's leaders are there. They have already started the restoration work. We will tell them that Moscow is alive. It wasn't all for nothing. Everything will change. Everything. Do you get it? A new life is starting for all the survivors of the world. Yeah. Oh, by the way, are there any single women in that place? <laughs> Great reaction. So I think the moment calls for... <clears throat> Bring it out, Demir. Bring what out, Colonel? Sir? That thing that's been sloshing about in your canteen. <laughs> you think I'm deaf or what? Ah, that. Uh, just a moment. I, I thought my ears were deceiving me. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a short trip to the Urals, so we should make ourselves comfortable, I guess. Well, let's name this bucket of bolts at the very least, eh? Huh? It's about time. Let's go around and be done with it. <laughs> nah, go to hell! <laughs> Even better! Oh, come How on! About Aurora, the rolling goddess of dawn, and a cruiser of, uh, uh, you know what? That's better. <laughs> Not bad. I like it. Ah, beautiful name! Sounds okay, but the cruiser of what? Yeah, I'll tell you later. Looks like it's decided. <laughs> Let's drink to yeah. the world. <sighs> Hey, Artyom, let's take a look at that map. All right, we had a round. That should be enough. You're back. Full steam ahead. Hi. Full steam I ahead. Get the wheat wow, the that's some air, distance. I, I wonder how long it will take. After all those years in the underground, the air of the surface seemed incredibly fresh, intoxicating. But that was not what had caused the crew's euphoria. Our journey finally got a definite purpose provided by the transmission from the government bunker in the Urals. For 20 years, we thought that neither the government nor military high command had survived. Turns out they're still around. Where were they? while we were eating each other alive in the metro. We'll have a lot of questions for them once we reach Yamantau, if we reach it. The ruins of our country are under enemy control, according to Miller, and we'll have to fight through to our goal. A small team against the occupation armies? What are the chances that we'll succeed, that we'll get some answers?